Hello my XJW agents, this is Darth Magog reporting in, and I have to be honest with you, I need to take a rest. So yeah, over the next couple of weeks, I'm not planning on doing any new videos. I suppose aside from this one, and I'll explain why. This won't be like a normal video that I do. I think I'll just have some Battlefront 2 footage over it, and you'll get to see how bad I am at my favorite multiplayer Star Wars game. This is also going to be largely out of characters, so aside from people's names, I won't be making any Darth Magog canonical references, if that makes sense. So, don't expect too much of an expansion on the lore here, okay? Let's begin. We would be honored if you would join us. So, the reason I'm doing this mini hiatus is, well, to use the JW term, a threefold chord. It'll get a little more complicated than that, but I'll keep it simple. So the first thing I have going on for the next few weeks is a fair amount of personal travel as well as business travel coming up. Now I personally love flying, but it's a very time consuming part of the day and it keeps me out of the studio. I have a separate space to do the filming where we keep the lights and the green screen and the microphones, all of which I need to save a little money to upgrade as they're all becoming very out of date. But that's aside from the point. The point is, I'm not Darth Magog all the time. I don't do YouTube full time. I don't get remotely enough views for it, and religious channels this small don't make a lot of money. It pretty much just covers our editing and streaming software, and then I can afford pizza for the squad at the end of the day. But that's all we've really got going on behind the scenes. Everyone that volunteers to help me work on the Darth Magog videos has a full-time job, has spouses, children, their own studies, and the like. That's why we're a little inconsistent with the Caleb and Sophia reviews, because we have to work around my schedule and Five schedule, and those don't always line up. Also, when I see Fives, sometimes we'd rather just hang out, grab a beer, and watch you haka show or the Bad Batch, because it's usually after work, ideally with dinner. But most importantly, our real life careers are what pays the real bills, and since we live in the states, our health insurance is directly tied to employment. Now, would I probably do YouTube full time if I didn't have a family? Probably yes, I'd take the risk and ride the ups and downs. But as things stand, I just can't risk that. My career doesn't trump everything in my life, but given the financial situation that myself and many XJWs find themselves in, I'd be a fool to give up a well-paying full-time job just to dress up as a Sith Lord and make fun of my old church, if that makes sense. The second major thing I have going on is, well, mental health. There's a surprising amount of work that goes into making these Darth Magog videos and a little more technology than you'd think. A fair amount of practical effects, we do a lot of takes, and I'll be honest with you, I hate doing the video editing. It's almost never ending if you want to stay remotely relevant. And I'm not blaming you guys, my XJW agents and viewers as a whole. What you guys watch in your leisure time when you watch it is your business. You owe me nothing. Even if Fives and I have been helpful on your journey, you absolutely owe me nothing. The real issue is that YouTube doesn't seem to be designed around mental health. I'll see content creators and influencers that I watch and follow take a two week holiday, and then I won't see that they posted anything for months at a time. Sometimes it's because they've quit, other times it's because they get buried in the algorithm. Frankly, my views haven't bounced back from my last break at Christmas time, and they probably won't for a very long time. Which isn't good for the main things I want to do here, which is build up a big community so ex-cult members and potential new cult survivors have an answer when their cult asks them, where will you go? The answer is do whatever you want, you're free, but I'm fine to accept refugees here at the Darth Magog channel. The thing I really want to do is spread the message, and this is probably the best way for me to do it. Now granted, I think I'd be able to spread the message a bit farther if I wasn't in a silly cyborg dress-up all the time, and I've heard that criticism, but at the same time it seems to appeal to some people and helps take the edge off. It's got a certain amount of absurdity to it. The big statement I always wanted to make was, oh, you want an evil apostate? Here's your evil apostate. It's done ironically, and I think most people get the joke, and I'd like to get that feeling out to as many people who need it as possible. That's always been the goal. 
but it's a never-ending work, a lot like being in the watchtower. You're not really allowed to take a break from doing field service and the witnesses, otherwise you're blood guilty and condemned to death in Armageddon, and it feels like your channel is doomed to do the same thing here on YouTube. It doesn't help that, despite my general audience-friendly presentation, the subjects I discuss on the channel really aren't bright, sunshiny, or family-friendly, but at the same time not sensational. So it's a tough topic, not impossible. There are great creators like Wally, Jake, and XJW Panda doing some tremendous things and reaching bigger audiences every day, and I couldn't be prouder of those guys. But at the same time, they're grinding all the time, and I'm just not as strong as them, if that makes sense. And the third and final chord is along the same lines as the last one. I'm experiencing a bit of burnout to a degree, mostly because I'm doing the same thing every time. Now that doesn't mean I'm quitting. I like making this ex-Jehovah's Witness and anti-cult content. It's very heartwarming reading and hearing experiences, even negative ones, just because they're all so real. I know a lot of you are here because high control groups like Jehovah's Witnesses are weird and fascinating to you. But it's just a different experience when you're reaching people that this awful stuff happens to. There's just a certain camaraderie that only shared experiences can create. Regardless, if you're a cult survivor, an activist, or an ally, I'm happy to have you here and share those experiences. But I do want to do other things too. I've also wanted to do a solo gaming channel for quite some time and just can't pass it out right now with the time invested into Darth Magog. I've got a sex and dating podcast that I've wanted to do with Darth Dias where we discuss our experiences and romance. I've wanted to do a fandom channel with vibes about something we both love, like the Star Wars shows or Avatar The Last Airbender or Jurassic Park, things like that. I have so many other creative things I want to do that I just don't have the bandwidth to do because I'm so afraid of abandoning Darth Magog just by mistake. I want to do something that doesn't require me to cross-reference every word I type on JW.org. Also, I'm really tired of the JW.org website. That's part of the reason I don't do rebuttals to the governing body updates in JW Broadcasting, because I really can't stand watching that stuff. The JW Broadcasts are long, boring, and abusive. Again, shoutouts to the creators that can do those and can do them well, because they're the ones really doing the hard work when it comes to video making. I'm rambling now, but what I'm trying to say is that variety is the spice of life and I'd like to step away for just a little bit to flex some other muscles and nurture some of my other interests, if, of course, that makes sense. And that's the end of it really, I just need some time away. I'm not sure how I'll bring Darth Magog back in a few weeks, but I will keep you guys posted one way or another. I'll still do polls and community posts, though I may scale back the Ask an Apostate questions, because that list is getting very long and I've already overwhelmed myself by reading it. Hopefully, this will do me some good and I'll be back before long, but for now, it's just time to step back and regroup. I think if I had this option as a Jehovah's Witness, I might not be the apostate lord I am today. Or maybe I still would be. Who knows. I don't have anything else to say at this point, but a very big thank you to all my supporters, allies, volunteers, fellow apostate lords, and of course the cast and crew here at Darth Magog. That said, I still want to hear what you have to say about the situation in the comments down below. And before anyone asks, I'm not going to the memorial tonight. I've had enough of passing cheap wine around, I'll drink it myself this year. Until next time, remember agents, the elders may be watching you, but Darth Magog is watching the Watchtower.